Coming up, GMC Weekly checks out the effects of Hurricane Sandy. We go behind the scenes of GMC Weekly, the senior pinning ceremony, and Cherokee students show their generosity. This and more coming up. Welcome to GMC Weekly. I'm Courtney Nord. And I'm Jeffrey Price, your host for today's show. Recently, Hurricane Sandy devastated much of the Jersey Shore and many parts of our area. Homes were destroyed and people were out of power for days. Here's Danielle Gall with more on the effects of the storm. The effects of Hurricane Sandy left many in our area desperate for power and heat. New York and Long Island were entirely flooded and streets were littered with cars, tankers were washed ashore and homes torn to pieces. Hundreds of thousands of people are left devastated without power in New York alone. The hardest part for me was probably um, losing power for just a couple of days and just like not having like lights for when it was nighttime. And, the first thing that went through my mind when I heard about the hurricane was this is going to be huge because they made it seem like it was going to be like a huge storm and it was. But my shore house did get flooded and my aunt and uncle's house did get a lot of water in it. A full day after Hurricane Sandy hit, emergency crews worked feverishly to rescue survivors that were stranded on rooftops. A storm surge and high tides brought severe flooding and a 13 foot wall of water causing Broadway, transit systems, schools, and even the stock exchange to close. Sandy was one of the biggest storms to ever hit the USA, so please donate via St. Joan of Arc Church to help all these poor victims that were affected by Hurricane Sandy. For GMC Weekly, I'm Danielle Gallo. Back to you guys in the studio. On a brighter note, Cherokee students and staff came together for a good cause on a record-breaking fundraising drive. Courtney Nord got a chance to learn more about the story. Recently, Cherokee High School hosted a fundraiser for St. Jude's. At this event, students from all grades came together to raise money for a great cause. Nick Musen was the catalyst that started a school-wide event. A member of St. Jude, we had it at Cherokee, where kids were able to come out and uh, show support for kids who are battling cancer. I was at home one day and I saw a commercial for St. Jude and I thought, why not give back? I think a lot of us are really lucky to live here in Marlton and don't really appreciate it. And uh, there's a lot of kids who don't have it so well. thought we could do something to bring the school together and kind of do something as a community to give back. Over 100 students came out to donate their hair to raise money for St. Jude's. Many heads were shaved and long hair was cut and donated to Locks of Love. As a result of this fundraiser, thousands of dollars were raised and donated to St. Jude's. I think it made everyone come together as like a community and a school. Having everyone participate, we're just being there and supporting everyone who was doing it. And I mean, no one got any negative feedback from it, especially me. I thought I was going to get the, you look like a boy. For all of those who missed the opportunity to donate, the fundraiser for St. Jude's will be held again next year. Thank you, Nick, Jen, and the many students that selflessly gave of their time and hair. Your contributions not only help students come together with Cherokee Pride, but to realize the positive effect we all can make on our community and school. For GMC Weekly, I'm Courtney Nord. Now back to you in the studio. 
Did your power go out during Hurricane Sandy? Just for a couple of hours. How about yours? The lights in my room just dimmed all night. I was afraid that they'd turn out for a number of hours. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how GMC is filmed every Friday? Who makes the production? Well, here's a behind-the-scenes look with Shannon Glatz. Hi, I'm Shannon Glatz reporting for GMC Weekly. Have you ever wondered how the morning show gets to your homerooms every morning? Me and my partner Jeffrey Price talked to a few people to see how it works. Let's take a look. Every morning, Good Morning Cherokee is produced by the members of Cherokee People Network. CPN is broken up into three groups, accountability, integrity, and respect, and we take turns each week. So I'll go on for a full week, my group's the integrity group, and then I'll have two weeks off after that. As early as 7 o'clock, CPN members come to school to get ready for GMC. Working the morning show is a lot of fun because I get to sit here and report the sports every day. It's a little bit nerve-wracking knowing that I'm on live TV, but overall everyone that runs it does a really good job, so it's not too bad. You know, doing the camera is, is another opportunity that I do. Um, it's not just standing around and doing nothing. It's about getting involved, like I said, for the morning announcements. Once all the camera people are set up and the technical people are ready, it's showtime. It seems like it takes a lot of people to produce the morning show every day. Special thanks to John DeRose, GMC's camera operator, and Madden McDonald, GMC's sports announcer, for the interviews. From GMC Weekly, I'm Shannon Glatz. Back to you guys in the studio. Finally this morning, seniors and their parents recently made a pledge to keep a commitment to always support one another. Maddie McDonald got a chance to learn more about the special night. On October 25th, here in the Cherokee Performing Arts Center, many seniors and their guardians attended the senior pinning ceremony ran by the Renaissance Club. The ceremony celebrates the commitment that the students and their guardians make to continue their constant support. Let's take a closer look at this touching ceremony. Good evening and welcome to Cherokee High School's 13th Senior Pinning Ceremony. During the Senior Pinning Ceremony, speeches were made by our Principal, Mrs. Charlesworth, Superintendent, Dr. Carol Birnbaum, Mayor of Marlton, Randy Brown, and our own Class President, Shelby Rohr. To our families, especially our parents, we thank you for everything that you have done, for pushing us to be the best versions of ourselves, for believing in us when sometimes we didn't even believe in ourselves. The pinning was then led by Linda Rohrer and her family. The Guardians participated in reciting the Parents and Guardians Creed, which symbolized the strong bond between family. The parents then pinned their students to represent this promise. Congratulations, parents. Please pin your seniors. The pinning ceremony was a great experience for those who came. When it was over, the bond between the students and their parents became closer, knowing they will always be there to support one another. For GMC Weekly, I'm Maddie McDonald. Back to you in the studio. Are you going to the homecoming dance tomorrow? I, I don't really know. Are you going to be at the football game? Yep, I will be. Cool. Enjoy your night. <laughs> you too. That will do it for this edition of GMC Weekly. We hope you enjoyed our show. Tune in next Friday as we bring you another edition of GMC Weekly.